Hey there, home labbers and engineers. So today we're going to look at hacking the automatic 1111 UI. We're going to look at effectively being able to change some things around so that we have a little bit more control over potentially doing things that aren't normally allowed. For myself, one of the things that I was curious about was if we can go up to 150 sampling steps and if we have a pretty fast graphics card, why can't we do more sampling steps? And so uh, effectively, I just figured out how to do that. And this is how we do it. So just like normal, we'll actually go into our stable diffusion web UI folder. And then we are going to look for a file called ui-config.json. Since we're changing a file that has an awful lot of control over what all happens, and it would be somewhat easy to do things that maybe could break, the very first thing that we should do is make a copy of this ui-config.json file. Right click, copy to, and then choose any place that you feel like. However, documents is probably a good one. Hit select. And now if we look in our documents folder, we have uiconfig.json. If you want, you can also give this something like backup. So uiconfig.backup.json. And so now I know that this is really just a backup file and that it's safely stored here. And from there, I can then go into Stable Diffusion, Stable Diffusion Web UI, right click UI Config JSON, open with text editor, and it will pop up with my configuration file. And from there, I can freely change any values that I want. And many of these things, they are reasonably well organized. So you'll see text to image. Any of these are going to be the text to image tab. And then you'll see things like sampling steps minimum, sampling steps max maximum. But this will give you a huge level of control in being able to get your UI to potentially have values that it could not have before. Now inside of here, you will have to be careful. This is a file that is running all of your configurations. But as you can see, it is quite long, it is quite complicated, and there are a whole lot of things in here. So if you wanted to customize you know, certain sliders and things like that and change the minimums or the maximums, etc. This is where you would go and this is how you would do it. And while something like sampling steps are going to be non-linear, meaning that 150 steps will give you a good image, 500 will give you a slightly better image. It's a whole lot more steps but it just gives it more time to keep refining it down and keep refining it down. But so I hope this helps some folks who maybe wanted to play around with some things and change the default values and increase or lower them potentially. But for me, myself, I just wanted to be able to have more sampling steps overall. Thank you so much for watching my videos, home labbers and engineers. I create and edit all of these videos on my own, so any likes and subscribes will massively help out the channel and allow me to continue creating content to help people. If you got value out of this, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel to be notified when new content drops. If there's something I've not covered but you would like to see a video on it, please leave a comment down below. And again, a massive thank you to everyone. I hope you have a great day.